Hi guys, it's Professor Finley, and I'm here with my teaching assistant, Gidget, and we are here to give you a great class today. So we're gonna start off our class with a nice heart pumping cardio session, really get the core body temperature up, really get going. And then we're gonna proceed into a nice Pilates strengthening session where we'll really get our major muscle groups wired and fired. And then we'll finish up with a nice short ballet bar really focusing on upper body today. All right, so everybody just get on your yoga mat, right? Stand with your feet parallel, let's pull those shoulders back, draw in on those deep core stabilizers, and we're ready to go. Here we go, starting off with just a nice light jog in place. Barely lifting those feet from your mat. Just really focusing on the landing, the toe ball heel articulation into the floor. Swinging those elbows, getting the upper body involved. And once again, maintaining our beautiful posture that we've worked so hard on. Collarbones open, shoulders back, rib cage stable, core stabilized. Good guys, we're in it to win it today. Got to keep those hearts and lungs strong. One more set. Let's pick it up. A little bit higher with those knees now. A little more swing to those elbows. Keep breathing deeply. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Okay, we're getting ready to bring it up a notch again. Just a little bit faster now. Involve the arms a little bit more now. Bring those knees up just a little higher. take it up into a run in place. Really intensify. Good. Just kind of tap it out for me guys, side to side. We're going to make a small change now. We're going to go into some high knee marches. Really getting those arms swinging. Here we go. Knees. And two, and three, and four, good, good, five, and six, and seven. Still holding your upper backs, maintaining your posture, feeling your core. These are a little harder to maintain stability. We're on one leg for just a little bit longer. Good, we're about ready to make a small change, guys. Let's bring the heel of our hand to the inside of our knee. We get a little bit of spinal rotation this way. Keep those arms nice and big. Continue to bring those knees up nice and high. Chest is open, ribs are stable. Another small change, let's do elbow. Good, involving the upper body a little more now. Starting to wake up those obliques. Another small change. Let's take some butt kicks. Okay, I'm using a flexed heel to kick myself in the butt. Big swinging arms, but still very stable to the upper body. Good. Let's keep that going, guys. One more set. Good. Guys, just tap it out. We're gonna go into some lunges next. I just want everyone to keep moving. Keep the heart rate going. Let's step it out to parallel, about shoulder distance apart, knees and toes pointed forwards, really maintaining neutral as we take it into our lunge. And two, and three, and four. Keep the knees behind the toes, five. Long spine as you Lunge six and seven and eight. Small change. Lunge, uh, sorry. Squat, pulse, rise. Squat, pulse, rise. Squat, pulse, rise. Nice and deep. 
pulse up to the balls of the feet. Pulse, crunch. You can also take that as a, the rise as a small jump. And squat, pulse, rise. And squat, pulse, rise. Back into your squat position. Let's just pulse. And pulse. Are you maintaining your posture? Do you feel your core working? Let's take another set. Last set. Good, I'm feeling another set of squat, pulse, rise, and we squat, pulse, rise, and we squat, pulse, rise, and good, and rise four more. Nice long tailbone, reach those six bones each time. Let's take two more. Really starting to get those thigh muscles warmed up. And one more. Come back into your squat, guys. Let's pulse it out. Starting to get that heart rate up. My cat's not doing a very good job of assisting right now. Oh, these are feeling good, guys. Feeling a little bit of that burn. Good, guys. Come up. Tap it out. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Good guys, let's face sideways on our mats. Take your leg that's closest to your screen and go into a step back lunge and switch and three and four. You can go deep as your body can handle five and six and seven. Here comes a small change. So we're going to lunge, pulse, come up and balance. Lunge, pulse, Balance, two more, lunge, pulse, balance. One more, lunge, pulse, balance. Step back with your foot that's furthest from your screen. And switch, and three, and four. And we'll go five, and six, and seven, and eight into our pattern. Lunge, pulse, balance and lunge, pulse, balance, and lunge, pulse, balance, one more, and balance, good guys, tap it out, five, six, seven, eight, let's go into our marked jumping jacks, long leg and long arms, good, let's keep those going, and seven, and eight. One more, and then I think it's time for some actual jumping jacks. Keep breathing, guys. Think about your centers. Good. And just keep these going. Looking good, guys. Let's do eight more, seven, six, and five, four, we'll go three, and two, and one. Good guys, tap it out. We're gonna go into some of our curtsy squats. Ready, and here we go. Step, press, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, let's circle those arms. Circle, and two, and three, and four. And we'll go five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's get our upper bodies involved just a little more, guys. Sideways on your mat, come towards this end. Nod your chin, roll it through. Hands to your mat, walk it out in to your push-up or plank position. Two push-ups today, one, two. Walk back towards your feet. Soften your knees, roll your backs up. Nod your chin, roll your spines down. Hands to your mat. Walk it out, find your plank. Reach those heels away from the crown of the head. Walk back towards your feet. Soften your knees, roll your spine up, 
Nod your chin, roll it down. Walk it out. Beautiful plank position. One, two, walk it back. We'll soften our knees. And we're gonna do one more for good measure today, guys. Planking is so good for us, we know that. Not always easy to make yourself do it. Find that plank with those belly button muscles. One, two, walk it back. Soften your knees. Roll your spines up. Turn to face your screen. Be parallel. Let's circle the arms up and back. And two, nice and big now. Three, and four, and forward now. And two, and three, and four. Circle them back once again. Go as big as you can, two, and three, and four. Circle them forward now. And two, and three, and four. Take a nice big inhale, guys. Go deep, go big. Exhale, press it all the way back out. Great job, guys. Let's come down to our mats. Find your flex band, and we'll go straight away into a nice little Pilates session. We're gonna start off sitting on our flex bands as we've done the last couple of sessions, right? And just starting by getting into our nice, neutral, comfortable sitting position. So that means being right on top of our sits bones with a beautiful, elongated, neutral spine. Arms just nice and heavy down by your sides. Let's take a moment to just close our eyes. Breathe naturally and tune out the outside world and tune into our bodies. We're gonna start with some of our deep breathing today. Let's all take a nice big inhale breath through the nose and begin by just simply pressing that air down as deep into the base of your lungs as you possibly can, getting that sense of weight and heaviness and expansion. And we're gonna hold that breath at the top today for five, Try to make it a little bit bigger. Four, three, two, one. And then I want you to completely exhale all of that air back out through your mouth. Just a very complete exhale breath. Inhale once again through your nose. If you can go a little bit deeper this time, really take that air in and we hold it at the top for five, four, three, two, one, completely exhale all of that air back out through your mouth, all the way, every ounce out of your lungs. Into our diaphragmatic belly breath this time, in through your nose, press the air down deep into the base of your lungs and let your belly muscles stretch and expand and open with your air. Hold this breath at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and then Press it all the way back out. Really deflate that belly, everybody, and press the abdominal wall flat towards your spine. Another big inhale breath through the nose. Big belly breath. Really push the abdominal wall outwards. Feed every cell of your body with that oxygen. Hold it at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and then exhale. Press it out, really deflate everybody. Press that abdominal wall nice and flat. And then we hold it there as we take our next big inhale breath into the sides and back of the rib cage this time. Really opening and stretching the muscles in between each and every rib. Hold this breath at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and then out through that imaginary straw, starting to narrow the waist in from all sides, from all angles. And we'll take that nice lateral breath again, in through the nose, make this one just a little bit bigger, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and then out through those pursed lips, really go big, take all of that air back out, shrink the waist and lift slightly through the pelvic floor. Good guys, take another inhale breath through the nose 
And this time, as you exhale, find the transverses in the pelvic floor and nod your chin towards your collarbone and round the back of your head, your neck, and your upper thoracic spine over your leg position. Take another inhale breath in this position and feel the upper back stretch and open with your breath. And then through those pursed lips, exhale, press it back out. Inhale, breath even bigger this time. Really open up the upper back. Feel the scapula separate around the back of the rib cage. And then exhale, one link at a time, one vertebrae at a time. Roll and stack your spine until you're sitting just a little bit taller, a little bit straighter than you were when we started. And go ahead and open those eyes. Take an inhale breath, tilt your head over to the right. Exhale breath, a slow neck head roll all the way around. Inhale, add the shoulders. Exhale, take the shoulders all the way around. Inhale, add the waist, the rib cage, the shoulders, the neck and the head will come all the way around. And then we're gonna flex forward and roll and stack the spine. Take an inhale breath, head goes to the left now. Exhale, breath, send it all the way around. Remember, gentle and heavy. That's our rule, gentle and heavy. Add those shoulders and take them around. Bending from the waist now, taking the rib cage, the shoulders, the neck, and the head all the way around. And then we flex forward. And then we roll and stack. Take an inhale, breath, send those shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back, down and forward, a couple more. Just keep breathing as you circle the shoulders. And let's take two more. And this will be our last one. We're gonna go in the opposite direction, guys. Let's take those shoulders up and roll them forward and down and back. And two. And three. And four. Good job, you guys. Go ahead now and reach for the ends of your band. One on each side. Open those arms. It's about a 45 degree angle from your torso. Take an inhale breath to prepare. As you exhale, find the transversus abdominis in the pelvic floor and sweep those arms up. And then as you inhale, Squeeze those elbows towards each other right behind your back. And we'll do a few more, just a little bit of upward and then downward rotation. Imagine the scapula behind you, just kind of gliding around the back of the rib cage, just very smoothly. No winging, no tilting, just smooth around the back of the rib cage. As the front of the rib cage stays gently closed, very stable. Okay. We're keeping the shoulders pressed gently down as we send the arms up and we're making sure that we don't go into too much scapular depression when we squeeze those elbows towards each other. Let's take three more today. Get those deltoid muscles working and two more. Good and one more and release, release your left hand, bring it to your knee or to the side of your thigh and reaching. Let's take an inhale breath here and an exhale breath to go into lateral flexion and inhale and exhale. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling and exhaling, reaching, really feeling that stretch Good, and pull the elbow back and we'll take one more. Really go up through the sides of the rib cage and return. Let's just switch sides. I'm actually using my opposite hand for a little bit of leverage so I can get that nice big lateral flexion. Let's take an inhale breath, circle that arm up. Exhale, feel that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Just a few more, let's keep that breath pattern going. Good, really feel that side of the rib cage open, kind of like a fan, reaching, opening through the side of the rib cage. 
Good, and we're also getting those obliques firing, which is really nice. Good, and return. Beautifully done, guys. Come off your band. Directly into our external rotation of the humerus and the shoulder girdle. We know this one. Hands coming out the index finger, thumb. We'll take an inhale to prep and an exhale to pull that band apart. Sending those fists away from each other, but really not splaying or opening the front of the rib cage. Right? Now, the band coming around the rib cage serves as a good reminder that we're not compressing the ribs, we're just keeping them gently closed as we open those fists. We really want to make this about the muscles of the shoulder girdle and the upper back. Definitely the rhomboids and the mid traps. Those important postural muscles. At the same time, we're giving the muscles of the chest, the pectoral muscles most specifically, that nice opening stretch. We'll take three more today. And two more. And this will be our last one. Directly into flexion and extension. Ends coming out the index finger thumbs. We take our inhale nice and big. Exhale to flex the spine forward. Inhale to extend it to the back, releasing those arms. Exhaling and inhaling. Let's take a few more, guys. Just kind of going right into things today. We've all had this warm up enough time to really know what we need to be focusing on and what we're doing. So we'll make it just a little more continuous. And three more. Nice big opening of the chest. Really support the back of the head and the neck. And two more. Good, everybody. And one more. Good. And return. Bring the band around to the front of the body. Hold it up above the head, just slightly forward of your forehead. Nice and tall in those sits bones still. In back into lateral flexion just because it feels so good. Inhale, exhale to reach that right fist down and pull that left fist up and return. And two. Remember, we're going up through the side of the rib cage as much as we're pulling down through the opposite side. Let's let that band pass behind the head for a couple. Right behind the head. You have to think a little more about the rib cage with this option, but it does feel good. It's nice and opening. And one more over to the right. And one more over to the left. Good, just pull those fists apart and release. Just strengthening the upper back. Good, rib cage still stable. Let's take three more. Put some determination into it. Two more. And one more. Pull the band forward into spinal rotation. Inhale and exhale to rotate. Inhale to return. Feel like you're spiraling upwards each time. Feel the opposition in the upper back and the arms. Make sure you're spiraling just right around that midline of your body, guys, like you have a maypole right down the center of the crown of the head. Good, and we'll take four reach. Do one more in each direction. Really get those obliques firing today. And one more. And then we'll pull the band open. And as we pull the band open, we're keeping the rib cage stable. Good. Just right below the sternum each time, guys, not too high. Slightly lower than shoulder height. Two more. And one more. And release. Band across our laps, guys. Side on our mats. Beautiful Pilates stance. Don't let those knees collapse in on each other. Hold on to that sit bone distance apart. Draw yourselves up on your sit bones. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, spin the pelvis back. Walk the hands along the back of your thigh. Really create that posterior pelvic tilt. Roll through your imprint and then all the way through your spine. Walk your heels in towards your sits bones. Relax your arms down by your sides. Palms facing down. Quick body scan. Heaviness through the back of the head. A majority of the weight right behind the bridge of our noses. Scan down to the back of your neck. Make sure you're noticing a little bit of cervical extension. Scan down to your thoracic spine and the back of your rib cage. This is the one I often find that I have to adjust, right? And make sure you're feeling that sense of heaviness, especially towards the bottom third. 
of the rib cage, thoracic spine. Bring your awareness down to your lumbar spine now. Make sure you're noticing that little bit of spinal extension, not too much. It should be about right underneath your belly button. Bring your awareness now to the back of your sacrum and your coccyx. Feel that sense of weight and heaviness, all right? Arms are down by your sides without any tension or gripping. Your collarbones, your shoulders, and your upper backs are beautifully open. And of course, as always, the front of the rib cage, just gently heavy, no compression. Take an inhale breath and just really enjoy the feeling of being in a really beautifully neutral spine position. And then an exhale breath through that imaginary straw and really draw in on the transversus abdominis. Feel that contraction and that slight lift to the pelvic floor. Let's take that one more time today. Inhale, just let it release. Exhale, gather the waist in, feel that contraction lift through the pelvic floor. Let's go on to a little bit more of our tabletop work. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, feel that gentle contraction and peel your right foot up to tabletop. And then exhale, re sorry, inhale, release it. Exhale, left foot up to tabletop and release. Just little marches and right, release and left, release. One more each leg, right, release and left release little modification you're going to take the right leg out now and you're going to lengthen and hover it and bring it back and then left leg lengthen and hover it right off your mat and bring it back and right and in and left and in pointing the toe as you reach bring it in one more time left Bring it in. Now we're going to do a little pattern. We're going to lift the right leg up to tabletop, lengthen it to hover, bring it back to tabletop and place it on your mat. Left side, tabletop, extend, and tabletop, return. Right, extend, tabletop. This is subtle work, guys, but so important. Left, extend, bring it back, return. Two more sets each leg and return left lengthen and return we're working those really fine tuned muscles deep in the spine and left leg one more time important exercises those really subtle ones now we'll get a little bit harder take an inhale breath as you exhale contract your abdominals now and press into your imprint Inhale, feel those lumbar vertebrae connect to your mat, and then exhale, release. Inhale, exhale once again, contract your abdominals, press into imprint, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, peel your right foot up to tabletop, exhale breath, maintaining your imprint, peel your left foot up to tabletop. Today, we're gonna to flip our palms to face upwards, and we're gonna open our arms slightly. Think about the letter A, kind of an A shape away from your body. Into spine twist supine, more challenging modification today. Inhale, maintain your imprint. Backs of the shoulders press firmly into your mat. Take your knees over to the right to the two o'clock mark. Exhale, bring your knees straight up. Inhale, maintain that imprint. Take your legs over to the left to the 10 o'clock mark. And up, we keep going guys, keep breathing. Inhaling. Finding your imprint at the top as you exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. So I've taken away a little bit of that arm support today and bring them up, relying a little bit more on the obliques and the deep core stabilizers. All right, and then over to the right and up and over to the left. Couple more each side, a little bit deeper, guys. Challenge yourselves over to the right, just a little bit beyond where that point of comfort is. And then bring them up. And then over to the left. Keep those shoulders strong, guys. Feel your upper backs. And up. One more time each side. And up. Really feel imprint every time, especially as you bring those knees up. And feel your imprint. Flip your palms over, guys. Palms are facing down. Draw them in by your hips. Take an inhale breath. Lower your right foot, toe ball, heel. Exhale, left foot, toe ball, heel. Come back to your Pilates stance and find your neutral spine position once again. 
Take your inhale breath. As you exhale, contract your abdominals, come into imprint, squeeze your glutes. We're going into pelvic curl, up into our bridge position. Inhale at the top of your bridge. Make sure your ribs are heavy and your hips are high. And then exhale, articulate back down. Let's do a few more just like that. Inhaling and exhaling to roll up. Inhale at the top. Exhale to articulate down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time, just like that, guys. Inhale and we exhale. Inhale, create that long line and exhale. Go ahead and bring your right leg to tabletop. Laterally rotate it and place the outside of your right ankle right across your left knee. We're going into lateral rotation, and I really want you to maximize the lateral rotation of that right leg, but I don't want you to start to roll or curl that left hip up off your mat. Inhale, exhale, abdominals, and then put a lot of thought into that left glute today. A lot of thought into it. And then roll up to bridge. Inhale, exhale, roll back down. The lateral rotation, let's just keep going as I talk to you, of that right leg is gonna make it a little harder to stabilize. You're gonna feel maybe a little bit more of that rocking or rotating sensation. Couple more, inhale, exhale. Make sure you feel that glute each time. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll back down. Inhale. Exhale, roll to the top, nice open collarbones, closed ribs, and then exhale to roll back down. We'll do a couple more, and we're gonna hold the top this time, guys. Inhale, exhale, abdominals, glute, especially that left glute, roll up. Inhale continuously for a count of four, three, two, one. Exhale to roll back down. One more set just like that, inhale, Exhale, abdominals, strong glutes, roll up. Continuous inhale at the top for four, three, two, one, and then exhale to roll back down. Release that right foot back to your mat, guys. Left leg up to tabletop, laterally rotated. Send the outside of the left ankle right across the front of your right knee. Lots of lateral rotation, lots of turnout in that left leg. You do want to kind of challenge yourselves. Inhale, starting slow. Exhale, I feel the glute on that right side contract, and I roll up to my bridge position, making sure the backs of my shoulders are feeling nice and strong, and then I roll back down. Keep breathing, inhale. Don't forget the glutes. Really high hips at the top, and roll back down. We'll do a couple more inhaling, and exhaling. As you inhale, try to perfect the position. And then exhale, you guys know all the rules. One more slow, inhale, focus on technique, exhale. Inhale, focus on position. And exhale to roll down with a hold at the top, inhale. Exhale, don't forget about those glutes each time. Continuous inhale for four, three, feel the stability, two, one, exhale to roll back down. One more set, inhale, exhale, don't forget that glute, feel that contraction. Inhale at the top, good, three, four, and roll back down and release that left foot back to your mat, guys. Make sure you're back into that beautiful Pilates stance. Let's take an inhale breath and create that cervical cranial flexion, and then stare straight up to the ceiling. Again, inhale, nod your chin. Don't forget to lower your eyes towards your belly buttons. And then come back. Let's go into low curl this time. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, roll up to that low curl position. Inhale, chest a little higher. And then exhale, roll back down. Couple more, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling to reach the fingertips. Exhale to roll down. Small change this time, inhale and exhale, inhale to sweep the arms out and back, exhale to roll down, we do a very quick elbow check and then we go into a set of 15 today, guys, here we go, inhale to prepare, and we go one, and two, feel the strength each time, guys, three, and four, try to come up a little higher now, five, 
and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Do a little elbow check. One and two and three. Make sure you're coming up as high as you can, still maintaining neutral. Two more and one more. Roll all the way back down. Okay, guys, bring your hands from behind your head. We're going to do a little bit of this, um, what we would call kind of alternative Pilates reformer work. We did this last week. Several of you mentioned that you kind of liked this work a little bit, so I figured we'd continue with it. So we're going to start with our feet completely together and our knees completely together. The ends of my band are coming out the index finger thumb side, so there's no kind of twisting of your wrists, and you're going to ping your elbows right down by your sides, either side of your rib cage. Okay, neutral spine position for this one. Knees together, feet together. Take an inhale breath. Exhale. Just pr simply press the feet out and return. Make sure you've really got the balls of the feet and toes securely in that band. Two. Return. And three. So as you press those legs out, you might be noticing it's a little hard if you're to hold on to that neutral spine position. The back kind of wants to arch. So I am actually challenging those abdominal muscles. And let's take four more. And three more. And two more. And exhale breath, one more. Good, nod the chin, come up to a low curl position and continue, one. And two, still neutral spine. Three elbows are hovering off your mat. And four. And four more, and three more, and two more, and one more. Come back to tabletop, roll back down. Let's see if we can do heels together, toes apart. For my dancers, it's gonna feel like a little baby first position, right? If you look at your feet, you should be seeing a narrow V position. Neutral spine, elbows pinned. Take your inhale breath, exhale, push the balls of the feet out release and two and three and four really feel the glutes and hamstrings push five and six and seven and eight nod your chin and roll up and we continue one and two hovering those elbows and three and four and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Roll all the way back down, guys. Release your left foot out of the band. Bring it to your, kind of like half of a Pilates stand. Bring your working leg, or the leg that's in the band, back to parallel. Ball of the foot securely in the band. Elbows pinned to your mat. A little bit of one leg work. We're gonna push out and in, and two, a little bit harder now, three, and four, and let's go five, really push through the back of the leg guys, six, and seven, and eight, nod the chin, roll up, and one, and two, elbows again hovering, and three, and four, starting to feel it in my calves a little bit now. It feels good. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Roll all the way back down, guys. Before you take the right foot out, place the ball of the left foot into your band and then release your right. Bring it back to tabletop and pin the elbows again. And we go one, and two, and three and four and we'll go five and six seven eight nod your chin curl up hover those elbows one and two and three four feeling the strength five and six nice and strong seven and a come back in oh that gives you a lot of bang for your buck doesn't it it's a good one okay band off to the sides 
So just give those hands, that was a lot of hand and fist work as well, a little bit of bicep work. Get a lot out of that one. Take a couple of nice deep breaths, and then we're gonna roll over and we're going to our back extension work. We are gonna use our band for this one, so go ahead and take your band. Place it towards the top of your mat. Just kind of relatively evenly spaced. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to be able to reach for it, okay? And let's come into our prone position for some back extension prone. So we're gonna start this one just as we normally do. My arms are in the goal post position, right? I'm feeling my coat contraction, a little bit of activity through the glutes and hamstrings. Forehead on my mat, a little bit of downward pressure through my palms and through my forearms to create some energy in the upper back position. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, I want everybody to lengthen just a little bit more, put a little bit more downward pressure through the arms and palms and come up into extension. Let's all inhale at the top and exhale to articulate back down. Just a few more guys, here we go. Inhale, exhale to lengthen and press up. Inhale, we're making sure we're not overusing the back of the neck. Exhale to articulate back down, inhale. Exhale, really reach the toes away from the crown of the head to come up. Inhale at the top. Exhale to roll back down. Inhale, this is gonna be our last one slow today, guys. And reach, really open up the chest, open up the sternum, and roll back down. And then lengthen your arms down by your sides. We're gonna go right into our consecutive faster one. Lengthening to inhale. Up, exhaling to articulate down. Really reaching those fingers. We're feeling just a little bit of scapular retraction every time. Good, and let's take four more. And three more. Nice open collarbones, two more. Reaching those fingertips, one more. Come forward, reach your hands forward for your band, and then pull and extend those arms out in front of you. You should feel like the letter Y. Right, those arms are creating a V position. My fists are palms down into the floor, forehead on the mat. We're still coming up into back extension, guys. Higher than hover spine. Take your inhale breath. As you exhale, lengthen first, and then start to come up into extension, letting the band pass right behind your head, right behind your upper back, and then finally release behind you. And then let it skim right across your upper back and the back of your head to come back and two and release each time you try to come up guys pull your fists apart from each other as the band skims your upper back and then it releases behind you and then your fists open powerfully as you come back to your y position and then pull those fists apart and come up and then pull them apart again to return a couple more guys reach and up reach and return one more like that pull that band apart and come up pull that band apart and return adding a challenge pull the band apart come all the way up stay there with an inhale breath exhale pull the band apart little pulses for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 more 2 more one more, let it skim right across your back and the back of your head to return. One more set like that, guys. Inhale, big exhale breath, right along the back of your head, upper back, and then it releases, and then you pull on. One, two, feel the strength. Three, four, five, six, keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it skim your upper back and the back of your head, and then just let it release, guys. Good, bring your arms back to the goal post position for me, and we're gonna go into hover spine. A little different modification today. Foreheads resting on your mat, feeling your co-contraction. Upper back, however, should be relaxed right now. A little bit of scapular protraction because we're going into hover spine. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, retract your scapula, and start lifting the backs of your hands and your forearms and your elbows towards the ceiling as you come into hover spine. Inhale, pull. Exhale, let everything float back down and let the upper back release. Inhale. Exhale, scapular retraction. Lift the backs of the hands, the forearms, and the elbows up. Inhale, don't try to get higher, but try to lift your elbows a little bit higher. 
and then float back down. So we're lifting the elbows higher, but we're not lifting the body higher. Inhale, exhale, scapular retraction. Pull the elbows and the backs of the hands and arms up away from your mat. Inhale, try to lift the backs of the arms just a little bit higher. Exhale, float back down. One more time, guys. Inhale, exhale, retract the scapula. Here go those elbows and the backs of the hands. They're reaching just a little bit higher. And now I want you to cross the fingers right in front of your whole forehead and float all the way back down. Open your legs a little bit wider than your mat. Laterally rotate your legs and bring your heels together. Let's go into heel squeeze. Guys, let's do a set of four heel squeeze, just legs, glutes and legs, ooh, heavy glutes, and let us add hover spine for a set of four. So you know what's coming at you today. All right, you can just focus on my voice, you don't have to look. All right, feel your co-contraction. Press the front of your pelvis down. That's the kind of starting point. It's important to start this one correctly. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, Increase the downward pressure through the front of the pelvis to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your heels, and lift your thighs off your mat. Inhale and exhale to release. Again, inhale. Exhale, make sure you're using those glutes each time, squeezing those heels. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale, exhale, glutes, squeeze those heels, lift those thighs. Inhale, exhale, make sure you're feeling your co-contraction, guys. Inhale. And exhale, squeeze and lift, inhale at the top. Exhale, float back down, adding hover spine. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, squeeze those glutes, lift the thighs, and slightly lift the chest and face up. Inhale at the top, exhale to float back down. Inhale, exhale, glutes, heels, and hover spine. Inhale, and exhale. We only have two more, guys. We can do this, inhale. Make them count. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more, guys. Inhale. Really breathe it out. Really breathe in. And then exhale to release. Good, guys. Lengthen your legs behind you. Bring your legs together. Slide your hands to your shoulders. And walk yourselves back into shell stretch. That was a nice upper back series today, guys. I'm feeling it in those spinal muscles, but we know we all need that right now. Take your inhale breath, stretch those spine muscles, and then exhale, roll and stack your spine. Okay, guys, you guessed it. We're going right away into the hundred, okay? Uh, let's just do classic hundred today. Knees together, feet together, okay? Roll into your supine position. Choose your options. If you're choosing Pilates stance, let's go ahead and separate the legs and feet to a sit bone distance. But if you're choosing one of the tabletop or extended versions, let's bring the knees and feet together today. All right, I think that'll be a nice option. Okay, choose your options. When we come back in, guys, a set of 10 chest lift high curl at the end. Okay, set yourself up, imprint your spine, legs up to tabletop if that's what you're choosing. Okay, lengthen those necks, earlobes away from shoulders. Take a beautifully big inhale breath. Let's oxygenate those bodies. Exhale breath. Drop your eyes, drop your chins, and come into your high curl position. Arms clean and strong, and here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, ten. Two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, twenty. Thirty. Forty. In. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, fifty. How are we doing? Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, sixty. Belly button down. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, seventy. Easy next. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, eighty. In. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, ninety. Shoulders nice and lifted. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, one hundred. Back to tabletop. Stay in it with me, guys. One and a really small release, two, barely release, three, the emphasis is on getting up higher, four, even higher, five, really feel that belly button sink, six, and seven, and eight, reach those fingertips, nine, here's our last one, guys, we made it, ten, roll all the way back, hug those knees in towards your torso, rock side to side, Sometimes it just feels good to work that way. 
All right, guys, we're gonna go right away into classic shoulder bridge. We haven't done this for a couple of sessions. I thought this would be a good one today. So we're going to do a seven kick shoulder bridge, and then I'm gonna call out some arm op options, and then I'm gonna add a little modification at the end. I don't need to show it. I'm just gonna show, uh, give you guys some heel raises in bridge position, which I think you're going to like. All right, sit bone distance apart. Remember, this is done completely in neutral spine. No pelvic curl to get up into this one. Take a nice big inhale breath. Our bodies are gonna need that oxygen. Exhale, shrink the transversus abdominis, lift the pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes, and just come right up into your bridge position. Start off by feeling the backs of the arms and the hands pressing down. Inhale, my right leg extends through tabletop and all the way up to the ceiling. Here we go. Exhale and inhale, and two, and three, four, and five, and six, and seven, back through tabletop, toe ball heel, down through the right foot, up with the left leg, and we go one, hips nice and lifted, two, ribcage calm, three, and four, feel the backs of your shoulders, guys, five, and six, and seven, back through tabletop, toe ball heel, option to bend those elbows and send those fingertips up, down through the left, release the right. One, and two, backs of the shoulders so strong, three, keep those hips up, four, and five, and six, and seven, right leg to tabletop, toe ball heel down through the right, release the left, one. Keep breathing guys, two. We exhale and inhale, good, five, and six, and seven. Through tabletop, toe ball heel, option to completely extend the arms. Down through the left, release the right, one. Oh, so challenging, two. Feel the backs of the shoulders guys, three and four, and five, ooh, my hamstrings are firing, six, and seven, through tabletop, toe ball heel, down through the right, release the left, we're getting so close guys, one, and two, feel the strength in the core, three, and four, nice high hips, five, and six, and seven, through tabletop, toe ball heel, Bring the arms down if you chose to bring them up, okay? Feet to sit bone distance apart. I want everyone to lift their heels and lower their heels. Keep those hips high the whole time, lifting and lowering. As you lift, I want you to place the weight on the big toe, second toe side of the ball of each foot. Lifting and releasing. Lifting and releasing. Really maintain that bridge position, guys. Just a few more, I promise. And let's take five, and four, and three, and two. Feel that bridge. One more, place the heels down, take an inhale breath. Whoo, exhale, set those hips down. Everybody roll towards your screens and come all the way back up. That one is so good. All right, and that last exercise, works a muscle, you have two layers of calf muscle. You have your gastrocnemius on the top and you have your soleus beneath that. And because of the bent leg position, as we lift and lower those heels, we're really strengthening and activating that second level or that layer of calf muscle underneath the soleus, so good. All right guys, we're gonna go on to just a little bit of our sideline work. So we're gonna go on to clam today, sideline clam shells. So go ahead and grab your flex fan. We've done this before. Kind of come into a Pilates stance position. You can go closer or further apart depending on how hard you want to work out today and on the strength of your uh, flex band or your resistance band, all right? And we've learned how to tie that bow because we know it's easier to release the bow at the end when we want to bring it back to just being a straightforward band, okay? So I'm going to choose kind of a medium resistance right now. I'm gonna bring the band just right to the crease of my knees, which is where it kind of works best for me. You may be a little bit different, okay? 
and we're going to get into a side lying position. So we know that we want the neutral spine to kind of line up with that back edge of our mats, right? Nice long sets of tailbone and six bones. We don't want to tuck them under, we kind of want to release them straight down. My thighs and my knees are forward of my body, all right? About a 90 degree angle to my torso. And then I've got just maybe a little bit less than a 90 degree bend at my knees. So my toes are lining up with my sit bones. I'm gonna cinch in on my waist. That ensures that I'm kind of using and activating that transversus abdominal muscle. And I'm gonna keep my big toes together today, right? To start the plan. Let's take an inhale breath and an exhale just to lift that top knee and release, have to adjust my down there, good. And two, and three, and four. We're going for that big range of motion, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and just 10 today. Now we're gonna make a small change. I want you to flex your feet and feel like you're bringing your heels together. Flex feet, heels together, you keep going one, and two, and three, and four, keeping the range big still, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Send your knees back so that your knees line up with your pelvis with just a little bit more, and then prop yourselves up to your elbow. Press the elbow down into your mat, create space between the top of the humerus and the shoulder girdle. Bring your top hand right to the top of your pelvis, right, so that you really are feeling the stability there. Take an inhale breath, exhale, come up into a side plank position, right? Keep your feet flexed, lift that top knee, Kick that leg forward, kick your heel forward, come back and squeeze. Two, really keep this side of the rib cage lifted and squeeze. Lift, kick, come back in and squeeze. Lift, kick, in, squeeze. Keep your head in line with your spine. Lift, kick, in, squeeze. Three more. Two more. Keep working that side of the body. One more. Good, and in guys, set the hip down. Come all the way back down. Fold your knees in and just release that hip. Just a short series today, not too bad. We just really wanna work those external rotators and glute and the internal rotators, so glute meat as well. Let's come on to our other side. Good, line up our spines. Send those knees forward, toes underneath the sit bones. Activate transversus abdominis, bring your big toes together. Here we go, we're inhaling and exhaling to lift one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, let's go, eight, and nine, and 10, knees together, Flex the feet, heels together. Here we go. One and two. I feel this at a new level when I flex my feet. Three and four. A few of you responded that you felt that as well. Good, four more. And three more. And two more. And one more. Send those knees back so they're more in line with the pelvis. Come up to your elbow. Right, we press down to create space, hand to the top of the hip, come up into a side plank position. Keep those feet flexed today. With that top thigh, kick your heel forward, in and squeeze. Lift forward, in, squeeze. Lift forward, in, squeeze. Just a couple more. Keep creating space. Lift, kick, in, squeeze, lift, kick in let's do four more we can do this three more two more last one come all the way down guys let's rest on your elbow good fold those knees in a little release to the hip
Excellent, guys. Okay, come on up. Release your legs out of that loop band. Okay. Now let's go into a little elbow plank exercise, all right? So we're gonna go into elbow plank. Let me show this one just really quickly. We're not gonna do a lot of sets of it, just a few. I just think planking is such a good idea right now for all of us. So either clasped hands or interlaced fingers, whatever feels more comfortable to you. We go into plank and we're reaching our heels away from the crown of our heads to create that nice clear line, a little bit of scapular protraction, belly button muscles. So lift it, we're gonna lift our right leg and kick for 10. Left leg, kick for 10, all right? Rock back and forth for a slow count of 10, hold for 10, and then we're gonna come out of it. I think we can all do that, guys. Just get that plank work in. If you'd like to come into full military push-up press, absolutely, you can do that. Your choice today. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get into it. This is gonna send us into plank for about a minute, and we like that. Elbow plank, belly button's lifted. Scapular protraction. Lift that right leg, one. Again, two and three, just the right leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just the left, one, two. Hold those bodies, three, four. Think about where your head is. Five, six, abdominals, seven, eight, nine, Ten, rocking back and forth. One, two, three, four. Think about the position. Five, six, seven. Squeeze those glutes. Eight, nine, ten. Isometrical. Keep breathing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, we can come out of it guys. Directly into child's pose. Big toes together, knees separated. Breathe deeply, just a little bit of spinal release. Forehead's nice and heavy on your mat. Big deep breath. And then tailbone under. Slowly roll and stack your spine. Good, come on up guys, face your screens. Come back to your neutral sitting position. All right, I think we got all the major muscle groups. We got our abs firing, we got our glutes, we got our hamstrings, we involved the upper body. We really got our obliques going today. I think we're ready to go on. All right, everybody, it's time for just a nice short ballet bar. I have actually picked another theme for today's ballet bar. I've continued this through all my ballet classes this week, and that is the concept of upper body coordination. By that, I mean the use of the shoulders and the upper back, the neck and the head, right? So we're just building on the concepts that we've established for the last few weeks. We started off with standing leg and standing side stability. We proceeded on to foot articulation, and then last week, deep core stabilization of the bar. So we're gonna continue with those as well, add our upper body coordination, and just start right away with our plies. All right, here we go. With music, always helps. Starting in first position, very complete upper body preparation. Demi-plie, good, really focus the eyes, focus the head, double demi-plie, to return, coordinate the upper body here in the grand plie. Eyes following fingers. Open up the chest and melt the body forward. Lengthen the spine to come up. Lower the arm to first, from just the very upper part of the shoulders, head and neck. Open to second position, grand plie. Keep the collarbones nice and wide. See if you can use the upper back without curling those shoulders forward. Start with your demi plie. Add it to parallel and hinge forward. And just work into those hips, get that nice stretch. Release the spine, roll up. Let's open, beautiful circle to fourth position and demi plie. Even think about what your fingers are doing. They're very complete in your work. Circling the arm as we work through those heels. Choosing head positions carefully. Parallel, sweep the arm up and hinge 
hips are as square as possible. And rolling up, rotating the spine, reaching and tall and do to the mid. Feel that big stretch here, transversus abdominis working. Everything we've been talking about. Good, strong upper backs. And once again, forward. And up. Let's keep the arm in fit. Make sure you start with your upper back. Don't go into the lumbar spine right away. Let's come up and around, other side. And two. Really look like you care about the core to broad. You care about the upper body. on the area of the spine right above those shoulder blades. Nice wide second position and bronchia. Make sure the head is last, open, around to your fourth position. Remember, we're attempting to get the pelvis right in the middle. And weight on two feet. Use your elbows. It's okay to use your elbows. We have elbows. And parallel, sweep forward once again. Kind of deepen that stretch a little bit. Make sure you relax the muscles behind the neck. And roll up, show me that reach. muscles. Beautiful arm here. Let that arm just sweep the body forward. And then once again, articulate your spine from the top. Good guys. Let's stay on this side. Brush out to Tommy's side. Use that foot articulation to brush. Come back to first, take a demi plie, send your heels over, spin your heels, your calves and your inner thighs forward as you wrap the back of the thigh around, stack the pelvis and come on up. And as you start taking this balance, go back to thinking about transversus abdominis and pelvic floor. Push the balls of the feet through the floor and really feel the structure of your arm position. And then because it's our theme today, very complete use of the upper body as you come through to finish. Great job, guys, we'll go on. Okay, slow tendus from first position. So we're gonna kind of try to put a lot of our concepts together uh, for this one. We're gonna start in first position, feeling both sides of the body, right? Taking preparation five, six, seven, eight, even make our preparations very coordinated today. I'm gonna start by pressing up to the ball of the outside foot. My standing leg is straight. One, inside foot two, outside foot three, and then like a little pot of cheval, out to tendu four. Circle stretch five and six, close straight, and we're gonna close demi plie and take a full circle of the arm. And then outside again, outside and inside and outside, and the pas de cheval. Circle stretch, really think about that standing leg as well so we don't get into those hips. Circle stretch, close straight, close plie. We go again, outside, inside, outside like a pas de cheval. Circle stretch, circle stretch, close straight, close plie, Flex it out to the side. We've done this one many times before, but I really want us to put a lot of thought into a couple of things. Standing side, right? So we're not giving into that leg. And upper body as well. Circle the heel to the front. And then up and circle it to the back. And then out, heel ball, toe, foot articulation. We come up to susu, sutanu, release to the other side. All right, so just a quick recap. Outside, inside, outside, like a pot of cheval. 
circle and circle and straight and plie. Repeat outside, inside, outside, pas de cheval. One, two, straight plie to the side as well. And two and three, extend. Make sure you're feeling the rotation. One, plie through two, flex. I'm thinking about my standing like spiraling in the opposite direction of my working leg and out. And I'm changing the upper body as I come around and articulate, come up, come around, and we'll take a balance back on the first side. All right, here we go, everybody. Lots to think about. to be able to coordinate beautifully. Fifth position, preparing the upper body. Seven, let's bring the outside arm up on eight and take tendu, plie, inside, inside, one front, one side, one back with the hold, to the back, plie, and front, and front, one back, one side, and front, with the hold to the side. Plie and then bring the arm through, inside, inside. And one, and two, and three, hold four. Tendu, plie in second. Let's bring the arms to first position for this first releve. And then we'll bring them up for the second releve. Circle them open, tendu, close back. And this one's going to reverse. Quick review. Out, close, plie, straight, and plie, back and side and front with a hold. Front, plie, back straight, back plie. One front, one side, one back with a hold. And side, close plie, inside closing straight, inside closing plie. I bring my port de bras through. Outside one, and two, and three, grow. I'll, every time I use the word hold, what I actually want you guys to do is I intensify that feeling. And then side, plie second. First releve, our ribs are not going anywhere. Second releve, plie, rise up, come around. So in the beginning of the exercise, tendu number one and tendu number three in each phrase are the ones that are going to close plie. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can take this one all together. Nice medium tempo, not too fast. You have time to think. Seven, eight, 
reach, pull the knees back into your plie. One, two, front, side, back, and lengthen. arm through to the side now. Plie, send the arm through. Three outside. Hold and grow taller, longer. Side, plie, seven. Rising. And again. Let's close back and reverse this one today. Out, plie. One, two. Clear fit positions. Every time you close, to the front, nice deep down in plie. One, plie two, front, side, and back. To the side. Inside straight, inside plie. Cross the heel all the way in each fifth position. Side plie second. Know where your rib cage is. Know where your chin is. Let's come up and around. Here we go, big breath. behind. We're almost there, guys. Keep it going. Sweep that arm through. And to the front. Release the upper back just a little bit. And to the side. Beautifully coordinated here. And three. side guys and take a susu balance. I think I forgot to mention that. Let's come up and around. I'm just getting the music. Wide toes. Heels spinning forward. Calves spinning forward. Inner thighs spinning forward. Lengthen. Transversus. Glutes, hamstrings. Squeeze up. Inner thigh muscles now. Know where our ribs are. Know where our chin is. Start our balance. Send those arms up and through and finish. Really nice with coordination. All right, all right, everybody. Time for dégagés. So we're going to approach our dégagés uh, two different ways in the same exercise. We're going to start off with a slower. Uh, Dégagé section right and left, where we really use the plie brush out, right, that we've been working on to sort of try to emulate the action of the foot in the petit allegro, throwing some uh, standing side balances in there as well. And then we're going to come back around right and left and do some faster dégagé so we can really get moving. All right, so feet in fifth position. And let's prepare the arm to a beautiful olive cone, really feeling the width across the collarbones and the width from elbow to elbow. We'll start with a brush dégagé, straight and plié, side closing front, back with the plié, inside foot to coup de pied, we'll let go, release and take a balance, five, six, seven, plié, eight, reversing straight and plié, side close back, Close front with a plie, inside leg to the back, taking our balance, five, six, seven, every time we come out of a coup de pied, let's come back to demi plie, four to the side, outside leg, two, and three, and four, inside five, really pushing through the toes, each time brushing front and back, front, back, close fifth, brush out to plie, tendu side, think about rotation both sides of the body, come up to su su, su to new turn. Closing straight, closing plie, no change with the change, ready for our balance, six, seven, eight, to the back, and plie, and side, and plie, inside, five, six, seven, closing plie, eight, four, outside leg, two, three, four, inside, two, three, four, brushing front and back, front, back, two, fifth, 
brush it out, squeeze that susu position, and come around. Moving faster now, seven in first, very simple, seven in first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, reverse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, little brushes, two, three, four, five, controlling the hips, plie releve, up and around. And then we'll take that to the opposite side and then stay on that side for a little CC balance. All right, here we go. It's gonna be a little bit of a long one. That's good, it's gonna get the heart rate up a little bit. Give us some good work. Okay. Seven, eight, we brush close straight, plie, side with no change, and then side with the change, inside leg. Are you ready for that balance? To the back, inside, and inside. Four outside leg to the side. Really complete fifth positions each time. Feel your fifth position. Know you're there. Little brushes front and back. Plie it. Slide it out to the side. Connect. Come around. Here we go. And plie it. And side. And we're so ready to be on that leg. Beautiful croupier foot. Straight. Outside to the side. Watch the opposite arm. Inside. Little brushes. Bump knees opening. Ready to go a little bit faster. Here we go. Very complete upper body. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brush. we've talked about in the past few weeks. Definitely upper body coordination, lots of port de bras, and we'll talk just a little bit about some moments I want us to think about. Um, deep uh, core stabilization, especially as we do show some of the chasse tonglier work, and then definitely standing leg stability, because Ron Dijon's just involved that to a greater, to a great extent, as, as you guys have commented in your, in your uh, responses to me. Okay, so we're gonna start in fifth position, and we're gonna prepare the arms to second. And as you brush to tendu front, this outside arm is going to push low, middle, high. So you're gonna to try to have everything arrive, the tendu and the corbra arm arrive at the same time. And one, plie fifth two, chasse three, tonglier four. So all of that is that stability work in the pelvis, really using the transverse abdominals. Pressing forward, five, up six, circle the leg to the side, circle it to the back. This is a moment where I want you to really think, we're gonna circle the arm with our rond jambes, we do that every week, but think about the way that you're starting that circle of the port de bras. Feel that little bit of reach, that little bit of apoma on the and before you start the first rond de jambes. So and, rond de jambes, and two, standing leg so stable, three, and four. This first one is gonna be definitely low, and I want you to flex your foot. Flex and feel your rotation, and send it through, and then articulate your foot to a pointy toe. If you'd like to make this next one higher, you may, you don't need to, but let's all use port de bras, and through, devil pay to the back, close fifth. 
Tong Di. Plie, stability here. Sha Se. Tong Li. Now we're going to take a porter bra to the back, taking the arm through the middle, reaching back, circling the leg side, circling the leg front, and here we go. Same thing. Watch how you can start these circles. And two, and three, and four, and back. Remember, both thighs are spinning open. Heel ball toe. Second one higher, if you wish. Four count circle into the bar, four count circle away. At this point, we're gonna keep everything else just exactly the same, because I think I've already given us so much to think about. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Beautiful technique. chest to the thigh and up, circle the leg to the side and then to the back, coordinated moment here, one, two, feel the stability, coordinate the upper body, this one's going to be a flex, and then higher if you would like, brush tongue in, plie fin, chasse, Bring the arm up, reach back. Circle the leg to the side and then to the front. On day dog, reaching. Two, three. Really feel that foot push through the first position. And both thighs spinning open. And brush, passe, développe. Four counts to circle. Go deep, go big. the belly button towards the thighs, extend the inside leg, slide it up, and then just take whatever stretch feels good to your body today. Through, bring the 
arm up and reach back. Circle the leg side. Really feel those ribs come all the way through. Preparation moment for the upper body. Two. Strong brush. And then flex and really feel like that heel is leading. And rush posse. Double pay. Four counts. Feel the stability of your base. Feel a little bit of inner thigh connection here. be our final set. Okay, everyone will come up, we're going to find the bar. Sean, do you extend that inside leg, pull to the front of the hips, and the pelvis come up, lift, and reach back, and send the leg over. Really think about your shoulder and upper back position here, and then up to arabesque, and through susu. Think about the shape of your kudu kie foot back there. Do you like the shape? Feel the attachment of the heel to the back of the, and right below the calf. Choose your arms. And then we'll squeeze through susu. up today we're going to do a combination that's sort of an everything but the kitchen sink combination so we're going to think about everything we've talked about in the last four weeks standing leg stability standing side stability we're going to think about foot articulation especially in the frappes and as we push into the grand bat ma right we're going to think about that nice wrapping of the transversus abdominis and we'll think about the upper body as well okay here we go it's a little bit of a monster but we can get through it it's our last one so we're gonna prepare for frappe. Five, six, tendu, heel flexes in slow, slow, a quick, quick fit. Développe now, coup de pied, very complete port de bras, passe. Développe, fit. We'll take a grand battement front and a grand battement side and a grand battement back. Tendu, prepare reverse. Slow, slow, quick, quick fit. Coup de pied. Passe, développe, arabesque, back and fifth, and side and fifth. Let's circle the arm up and fifth, tendu, prepare. Now we go side, a two, a one, two, fifth. Let's bring the arm up for this développe and keep it up and keep it up. Then open it and open it. Inside foot up to passe as the outside arm comes up to fifth. Right into your planche. As you come out of that planche, right back up to back out of two. For a balance, plie arabesque, pas de bourre, tendu, prepare. Slow, slow, quick, quick fit. Coup de pied, passe, développe. Bat ma front, bat ma side, bat ma back, tendu, heel in. Back, 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 fit. Développe to arabesque, bat ma back, bat ma side, bat ma front, tendu side, prepare side, slow, slow, quick, quick fifth. We'll bring the arm up to fifth, two grand bat mas with the arm in fifth, two grand bat mas to beautifully open the arm to second. Now, inside foot up to a back passe. Make sure I really see the pelvis, feel the transversus abdominis. Right away into your planche, chest very lifted. Right away into your back attitude for just a quick balance. Plie arabesque, pas de bourre, finish. Then I'm going to have everyone just face their screens. 
with your feet in second position and I'm just going to call out an easy stretch at the end. All right, we're going to need it by then. Here we go, guys, all together. Let's try to pull every concept together for this one. Ready. Ready. Right front of preparation. Tall and in, slow, slow. Use those toes. Now a very complete devil of head. Bottom on front, brush through that foot, through the floor, back. Tall new heel and we reverse it to slow. Think about the standing side. Reach that air back. Know where your eyes are. Know where your head is here. Tall new heel in. Too slow. Move the toes. One, two, fifth. We're going to bring the arm up. Keep the arm up for two. Let's open the arm. Make that really beautiful. Inside leg up to passe arc as it reaches to fifth. Right away into your planche. And then into your back attitude. See if you can test your balance. Reach, contemplate. Here we go, opposite side. Two slow. Use your elbows. Find the head direction. Open to second, come back to first, and we finish. Great job today, guys. My company has never stops playing until I push the button. Great job today, guys. Stay well, stay strong, stay safe. Know that I love you, and I'll see you next time.